Hi everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome and if you're subscribed, welcome back. I'm gonna be doing a love reading and this is gonna be for all of my Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Taurus It's gonna be for pretty much the first week of January. So the first to the seventh. Um, guys, if this resonates, that's awesome. I'm super happy it can resonate. And if you feel like it resonates, you can check out the, I have a link to Vimeo below to, for the extended version of this reading. And I'm pretty much just going to go more into detail of the reading and talk about the overall outcome and give some angel guidance. So if you're interested, you can feel free to check out the link below if this resonates. If it doesn't, it just means it wasn't the reading for you. And you can feel free to check out my other videos, future videos, past videos, alongside with your moon rising or Venus sign. Also, cross watchers, this is a safe place for you. So welcome. Um, this is for everyone. If you feel like the roles are reversed, then just pick whichever side resonates with you more. Energy is always changeable and I'm reading for both sides. So pretty much I'm more reading more for the Taurus side, but if, if cross watcher you're resonating with the Taurus side, that could very well be the case. <clears throat> okay guys, so let's get started. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay. I, I'm i seeing that somebody could be watching you from a distance. I don't usually read reversals, guys. So like, I'm gonna kind of read this card upright and maybe in reverse too. But what the feeling I'm getting from this card is that somebody is watching you. They're keeping an eye on you from a distance is what I'm seeing. This is somebody that you're not in communication with, but they've been thinking a lot about you. You could have had a fallout with this person. Um, they've been thinking a lot about you. They've been thinking about the good times you've had. They're reminiscing on the past is what I'm seeing. Also, this person, it could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But this is somebody that they're thinking very deeply about you, but they're not making much action is what I'm seeing. They're more like looking at you from a distance, checking your social media accounts. But I also feel as if, the energy here too is that you're trying to like move forward. You're trying to move on from this person, but it's hard because you feel like they're you somehow they just keep going, getting into your thoughts. Somehow this person just happens to be in your thoughts and you're just like, why, why is what I'm hearing? I'm hearing some of you guys say like, why can't I get this person out of my head? And honestly, I think it's because this person is always thinking about you. And that's why you keep thinking about this person because they're always thinking about you. Okay, so that was the energy I got for, for somebody, but let's continue the love reading, the love portion of this reading. So what are um, Taurus's thoughts on the person that they are currently dealing with? Let's we'll start off with the past. Can I have Taurus's um, past thoughts for this person? What happened in the recent past? Recent past with this person. Well, for this, the weekly readings, guys, I'm just going to do um, doing something a bit different from the monthlies. So I'm just going to be focusing on I'm going to do past, present and future readings. So the readings are going to be a bit shorter than the monthlies. Just um, a heads up. But for the monthlies, I'm just going to keep it the same. But for this one, I'm doing it a bit different. OK, come on, Taurus. <laughs> What's the past um, energy for the person Taurus doing? OK. Ooh, eight of cups. Okay. So like I said, guys, you could have walked away from this person. This person could have walked away from you, could have walked away from each other in the recent past. I believe it was you walking away from this person. Honestly, I think that so one of you guys, okay, so I got this. Somebody is a night owl. Like one of you guys likes to stay up really late. I'm also sensing this person could have liked drinking too. This person could have, for some, this person could have had issues with addiction. I don't know why I'm, I felt that. And I'm sorry if that's the case. It's really difficult. Um, but I do see here that this person is, they're feeling very, they're, look, they're like thinking about you a lot. And they're thinking about how everything went down between you two. Because I think that in the recent past, it was very difficult and this could have happened in December or this could have just happened, Taurus, because um, you had to walk away from this person or honestly, it could even have been a family member or a friend. This doesn't, I know this is a love reading, but 
it could have been, um, you can take it how it resonates. It doesn't have to necessarily be romance. It could have been like a, a really close family or friend. It could have been a different type of love, you know, love for a friend or a family member. But um, overall, I see that you had to walk away from something that wasn't, that wasn't benefiting you anymore. That wasn't stable. And I think that you had to walk, you knew that you needed to walk away from something. I'm going to get clarity on this card. Can I have clarity on the eight of cups? Clarity on the eight of cups. Why is the eight of cups here? Okay. Okay. We got the four of wands. <clears throat> I heard honeymoon. For some, some of you guys, um, could have celebrated a honeymoon within the past six months, or you feel as if there's something about honeymoon that's significant. Maybe you had a friend or a family member that just got married recently and they just went on their honeymoon. Doesn't necessarily have to be you. Could have been someone close to you. I'm also sensing here that a friend could have given you, you could have had a friend give you advice recently about this relationship. You could have been talking to, um, talking to a friend about this relationship because I think that some of you guys, um, you're, some of you guys could be reminiscing on the past, honestly, because there were good times between you two. But I think that you also knew you needed to walk away because you want to find, you're trying, you feel like this person wasn't good for you and you want to find somebody that can really truly bring you that happiness. And I think that you're just trying to focus right now on celebrating and having good times. And you had good times with this person. I think that both of you guys were thinking about it. Both of you guys were thinking about the good times that you've had. And when times were good, they were really good. But I think that there is a reason for walking away. You wanted, to, I think that this is for yourself. You wanted to focus on the good times because I think there were struggles from within the connection. There were struggles within the connection with this person. And you knew that you needed to walk away to better yourself. And so you could get to a happier place and find potentially find the one that is actually, you know, good for you. As hard as it was, I feel like you, you had to walk away from something that could have been good, but you knew it wasn't the one maybe, maybe in deep down, you had a feeling like I need to walk away. And maybe part of you is like, maybe it'll work out in the future. But right now you're just like, I need to focus on the good times ahead. I need to focus on the new right now and and what's going to, you know, make me feel happy, you know, make me, you know, I'm going to be treated the way I want to be treated, the way I deserve to be treated. Because maybe this person wasn't always there for you. I don't really know the background based off these cards, but that could have been very well the case. Can I have um, present energy for Taurus? Page of Pentacles. <laughs> You might have a new offer coming in. Honestly, there might be someone new approaching you this week. You might meet somebody at a job is what I'm seeing here. Um, also, there's a token. There's something coming your way, like a gift. You might have some sort of gift or I heard token. Um, I'm not sure what that means, but there's like a, some sort of gift coming your way. Somebody might be giving you a gift un unexpectedly. It could be a late Christmas gift or it could be a New Year's gift or for some, you could be giving a gift for, to somebody. Maybe you're celebrating someone's birthday and you, that's where you meet this person. I feel like there's a new energy. Like you knew you needed to walk away. And honestly, guys, you knew you needed to walk away from what wasn't resonating. And like I said, it could have been a friend. It could have been a family member even. That's really difficult. And it was difficult for you, Taurus. But you knew you needed to do this so you could have new opportunities appear in front of you. And I feel like you have a new opportunity. There's like a new opportunity um, with somebody brand new is what I'm seeing here. There's an opportunity that's approaching you, whether it's with this person. But I'm kind of feeling a new energy. I'm not going to lie. But I do see somebody could be giving you a gift. Somebody could be giving you something that's um this this week that's very meaningful and it's bringing a lot of happiness you could also be getting a promotion for some some of you guys are getting a promotion or you could be getting you might have just started in a new job or you're on the job search and you're ha you got lucky and you, you found somebody was like wanting to interview you or there's like something where you're 
giving, you're being gifted. Um, and the angels are giving you, I feel like this is like part of like the angel, the angels are giving you this gift because they feel like they know you deserve it. And there's something that you deserve because you've been, you've been doing really, you've been doing well, you've been standing up for yourself. And I see the angels and everything and the universe is seeing that. And they're wanting to give, give back to you. They're wanting to give back to you. Taurus. Can I have near future energy? But yeah, you might be focusing on your career right now. You might be focusing on your finances because you see there's a lot of potential there. You could also have a moment of fame this week, which is really cool. I just heard New York. Some of you guys could live in New York or you could live close to New York in northern northern states, the U.S. It doesn't have to be the U.S. though. Some of you guys are from other countries. I just heard Spain. You might have some... <clears throat> you could have family in Spain or you you've always wanted there's something about Spain like you want to go to Spain or you have family in Spain I heard Spain maybe a Spanish descent or the person you're dealing with is could be Spanish okay nine of swords <clears throat> okay so the near future we got the nine of swords so I do it could be I'm definitely feeling air energy here um Libra Aquarius Gemini and I actually feel like there's two energies here for some reason I feel like there's an opportunity to meet someone new, but I think that there's still like, I think that this person, um, the person you were dealing with might possibly come back this week and want to talk to you. Um, and I'm getting the feeling that somebody there's the person from the past might be coming back to talk to you when you meet this new person, there's somebody new that you might be meeting or a new opportunity. It doesn't even need, need to be a person. It could be an opportunity of coming in for you. Um, if it's a person or an opportunity and right when this person sees that happening this week, they're going to come rushing in back towards you, or they're going to want to communicate to you because you've been in their thoughts a lot and they might come rushing back in to be honest. But I think that part of you, you're going to be a bit cold about it. You're not going to be very, <laughs> I don't think that you guys are going to be very, um, open to this right now. For some, you're not very open to this person coming back and you're a bit guarded can i have um clarity for the future for my sword okay three of pentacles okay so there might have been a situation um you could have been honestly this could have been someone you were married to at one point like i said honeymoon you could have <laughs> this is a specific person out there but you could have gone married to this person and like a few months later, you had to get divorced or something happened or you could have gone to a, it doesn't even have to be marriage. It could have been a relationship and you, you laugh it like every, the passion was there, but then it ended very fast. Like, it's like the connection, it connection, like it was a very passionate connection. Then it kind of ended, mm -hmm. but I feel like there's, um, there's something going on where you're being brought together to the, there's some, there's like, um, outside force bringing you two together to talk again. You might have a friend, um, some, or their friend reaches out to you be like, Hey, like you guys need to talk. Like, and I do sense that here. There's like two people that are going to talk to each other. Um, that's, or there's an outside force bringing you two back together to talk, but I don't think that you're necessarily going to be open to it. Taurus. I don't think you're necessarily like I think you're a bit closed off from this person because you're really wanting to focus on the new and leave the past in the past. But I think maybe some of you guys might listen and hear what they're going to say, um, hear them out. But at the same time, I feel like some of you guys are kind of the back of your head, like not this again. Like we're not going to, are we really doing this again? Um, because you're seeing the new opportunities in front of you and you're not really wanting to look back, honestly. And I feel like you might have a conversation with this person, but it might bring healing and clarity. There's there's somebody who might come back, that it, but it might bring healing to you. Um, it might make you um, really realize that you want to move forward or it might make you think about things again with this person. But I do think that you're really looking to move forward, Taurus. And I think that's awesome because there are some new opportunities coming your way. And there's a new there might even be this new person you meet. You could meet them at a job, like I said, or... Um, some, I just got, I just heard dance lessons. Some of you guys like to dance. You like taking, you could be a dancer or like you meet this person while you're dancing and it could be, it could be at a club or a party or some sort of celebration. You or you meet this person. I just heard dance though. Dancer, dance, dance lessons, maybe 
meet this person when you you go on a whim i feel like some of you guys are going on a whim and trying something new and that's when you could meet this person when you're trying something new because i feel like some of you guys are just like let's i'm gonna take dance lessons or i'm gonna go try this different hobby or this activity and i'm just gonna see what happens i'm gonna go snowboarding never been before like it's kind of one of those situations where i'm feeling and you could meet this person doing that or unexpectedly honestly because it's like you randomly just have this burst of happiness but I also feel like this rush of this person coming in because I feel like they feel as a sense they're actually losing you, fully losing you. And they're I think part of them, they don't want to lose you. And but I think that there's um, open communication coming your way where you're going to get both get clarity on the situation, what's really happening. But I don't know if you're necessarily going to be open to it. But yeah, Taurus, that's all I have for you guys for the first week of January. I do sense that there's a lot of opportunities coming your way. I feel positive energy for 2020 and really excited for you guys. Um, I'll post the monthly shortly, but this is what I have for you guys for the week. So I will see you guys next time. And also, if you feel like this resonated, we can take it over to Vimeo and you can feel free to click the link below. And I'm just going to continue the story. So I'll see you guys there. Bye.